don't be too disappointed if after the first interview you're not, you're not significantly improved. Okay. Okay? Let's just see what happens. 24 hours later, there was no real improvement. Besides, she had become nauseous from the treatment. Bend it to one side. Bend the other. Now, do you have any more mobility or about the same mobility? I think about the same. By the third day, she was feeling a little better. You began to see it in her face. Well, I didn't have to take any more medicine. How long has it been since you haven't had to take medicine? Over two years. Before she left for home, Dr. Jacobs showed her where and how to apply DMSO topically to her neck and back. Now, when you put it on, don't rub it too hard. You just have to apply it to the skin, and it goes in. Let it dry over 20 minutes to a half an hour. It won't be totally dry, but anything left, uh, you can just uh, wipe off. That was last November. This is Sandy Sherrick, two months later, back at her Riverside, California home. Oh, the pain's gone. The pain is totally, completely gone from you, my neck. You're serious? I'm telling the truth, honest to God truth. You can do anything? Can you do housework? Yes, I can. Drive a car? Yes. Lift stuff? I have not found anything I can't do. We asked Dr. Jacob to come on down, take another look at you, and to talk to you and us together, okay? Now, could you bend your head to the left side? Any discomfort? None. Okay, now how about to the right side? Any discomfort? No. Sandy, if you had done this three months ago, four months ago, what would have happened? I would have been in pain. He wouldn't have been able to touch me. When a woman has been in pain for two years and has an injection of or topical application of DMSO, and suddenly a miracle happens. When a quarterback for the Atlanta Falcons has been using it off and on for years and says, I swear by, I'm telling you, my arm is better. I throw faster, straighter, better. When you get testimonial after testimonial, I ask you, what's wrong with those testimonials? Nothing's wrong with them. They may be right, but they don't get the, the they don't provide the scientific evidence that's necessary for acceptance by um, scientists. It's not just the FDA that's skeptical, not just the medical establishment. The drug companies don't have much enthusiasm for DMSO either. Why? Jacob and others say it's because DMSO is a common chemical solvent that can be manufactured for four dollars a quart, on which no drug company can get an exclusive patent, therefore there is no big financial return available. Did an executive of a major drug company really tell you, Dr. Jacob, I don't care if it, DMSO, is the major drug of our century, and we all know it is, it isn't worth it to us? I was told that if DMSO were approved, it would be competitive, and, and they didn't hold the patents. Yes, I was told that. And you will not tell us? I, I would not tell you the, the name of the drug company or the individual. Why? It's the only question I will not... Uh, I will not answer. I'll answer any other question. I think it's a fact of life that um, drug companies are not going to invest in something unless they think there's some financial return. But we come back to the main reason for the FDA's objection to DMSO, that a story like Sandy Sherrick's doesn't take the place of a scientific test. Well, that's fine. I can understand their feeling, but they've got to be able to look at the test results and take me as an individual. I have no reason to say it does work or it doesn't. All I can say is what it's done for me personally. It worked for me. Two footnotes. DMSO is now available for treatment of assorted ailments in Western Europe, the Soviet Union, Japan, and Latin America. And tomorrow morning in Washington, the House Committee on Aging begins an inquiry into why DMSO is not available to all Americans for any appropriate ailment, including plain and simple pain.